point in the pandemic. It's not unusual to know someone who has had the virus, and it's also not unusual to have heard of someone that has died from it. But WDHN's Ileana Capian has one family's unique story. While some are still choosing to believe that this virus is not real and it could never happen to them, this family has had to live through twice over with the loss of two family members in under 48 hours. This is their plea to the community to do their part. My name is Kathy, and I lost my father and my brother with, and within a week we buried them both. Kathy's father, Kenneth Austin Joyner Sr., and her little brother, Kenneth Austin Joyner Jr., caught COVID-19 at the beginning of December after being exposed by Kenneth Jr.'s employer, who came to work sick. Jr.'s co-worker, Kenneth Jr., and Kenneth Sr. were all in the hospital around the same time. The co-worker made it out alive, while Kathy had to plan her father and brother's funeral. He, you know, called himself my brother's friend, but look what he did. He took him away. So I had to kind of try to get past that because I can't change anything now. But if you're sick, stay home, please. Because you're, you might take someone's brother or uncle or grandfather or dad or son away. Don't do that. Kathy worked as a nurse during the H1N1 pandemic and says that doesn't hold a candle to COVID-19. She says her brother had a saying he was known for. He's like, a month from now, is this going to matter? <laughs> is it really going to matter a month from now or a year from now? Now really? Kathy has a response for him. It, it, this does matter. Just, it, it, it matters that he, he came in contact with COVID and a month later he was dead. On December 31st, Kathy and her family buried her brother. On January 6th, they buried her father. This hopefully closing the chapter of COVID deaths in their family. Save a spot for me. <laughs> I'll see you again. Covering local news first in Newville, Ileana Capellan, WDHN News. The Joyner family hasn't had to worry about any medical expenses because of federal funding allotted to hospitals treating patients with COVID-19. However, they did have to front the cost of two very unexpected funerals at the same time, resulting in a bill of over $22,000. If you would like to help, you can donate to their accounts at Holman, Headland Mortuary and Cremations.